What up everybody, welcome to your 21st Android tutorial and what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up a wallpaper app as you see here you can scroll through pick this picture or pick a picture down there and it'll change this picture and then whatever picture is up here you click and it will set it to as the background of the actual phone's device so that's what we're going to do basically in this tutorial we're just going to set up the XML we aren't going to get into any of the coding yet um, but just set up the XML so we can work with this in Java. So what I want you guys to do first is import uh, you know some pictures basically the size of the pictures I don't know the perfect size that you want to use for your actual phone but I'm sure you can google that and figure it out what I used was um, approximately let's see I think it was uh, 521 by 315 which is kind of a weird size. I don't know why I use that. I think I might have Googled it before and figured out that's the ratio you want to use. But that's what I use for my pictures. And uh, just upload them the same way that we did it and everything else. Put them in your drawable folder. Also, you want to set up a new button in your, your main Java, or your, uh, I'm sorry, your menu Java that opens up a new class called Tutorial 3. And again, Tutorial 3, set the content view to. Uh, a layout which I labeled wallpaper and this is where we're going to set up our actual uh, XML layout and again also remember you set up your intent in the Android manifest to open that button um, button 3 to open up tutorial 3 Java so I just want you guys to open up this wallpaper one after you create that just pause the video get caught up here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the orientation because this linear layout doesn't have an orientation yet so we're just gonna say Android orientation and we're gonna set this equal to vertical so there you go and to be honest with you guys this video is gonna be kinda of boring because it's all gonna be coding and it's not gonna be that fun or exciting or awesome but <laughs> I'll try and do my best here the first thing that we want to do is set up that original um, this is called the image view and these are also going to be image views so just keep that in mind we're going to set this up first so like I said it's called an image view so we're just going to do uh, image view and we're going to say Android and then the image source is basically our reference so we're going to say image source equals and then say at drawable and I'm just going to pick the top one so I label it back abstract um, and that you don't have to put the PNG it'll actually give you an error like I don't know if I remember that or told you guys that when we were doing that uh, layout background but yeah you don't want to put PNG or whatever the extension is we're also going to set up the Android uh, layout width equal to something like 200 oops 200 DP or S00 DP 200 DP and also we're going to say Android layout height equals uh, 200 dp as well in quotations what else do we want we will we want the Android layout gravity uh, to be centered as you guys saw in that uh, little preview there so we're going to say center and basically we have that uh, we have that image view set up. That's all we're going to include in that image view. So we're just going to close it off by forward slash uh, less than symbol. So there we go. We have our image set up. Now we're going to set up that button. That's actually going to set it equal to phone. We're just going to say Android. Again, we want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Also on this image view, we want to add a, a reference so we can use it in Java. So we're going to say Android ID equals at plus ID and we're going to call this one IV for image view display and then we're going to set up our button and we're also going to set up the Android ID equal to at plus ID and we're going to call this uh, button uh, set wallpaper or something like that and I'm sure you guys can figure this out but the, the Android or the, we're going to set up the width to equal fill parent and the height to uh, wrap the content as you can see and you're probably like what content well we're gonna add that so we're gonna say Android text equals 
uh, something like set to or set image to background, something like that. For the most part, like nothing new from or well, I guess there's one more thing new. And so we enter button here. I'm just gonna do forward slash because I like it better like that and hit format for you guys. Then what we want to set up is first we're gonna set up a button or an image another image view, and then we'll wrap it with that uh, that scroll view, horizontal scroll view basically, and a linear layout. So first we're gonna set up another image uh, image view, like I said. And we're going to say Android source equals uh, at drawable, and again uh, just back underscore, underscore abstract. Actually, just to save some time, I'm going to copy this image view and change it here. So, just going to change the ID to uh, image view image one and change the DP to something like 50, 125 we'll say make it somewhat smaller and we're also not going to have a gravity here but we are going to have padding we're going to set the padding equal to like 15 DP works and so um, yeah let me pull up the emulator again basically as you can see this is the padding 15 density pixels and then this one will also have 15 density pixels otherwise these images would be, be touching and it wouldn't be as clean but you know that's just what padding means so that's kinda new now we're just gonna copy and paste this uh, for however many images you have in that uh, in your selection and just change you know the, the source to uh, your next your next picture in the line and then also just change it to image view to um, I'm just gonna let's see here I was just gonna clip the video but I'll just uh, hopefully yeah I might just clip the video and finish this alright and we're back um, basically I just uh, did seven pictures again just change your source and your ID and all of them will still have 15 di density pixels so let's check out what that looks like you can't really see the pictures um, but they are all lined up vertically right here so we want to change that so now what we want to do is set up that horizontal scroll view so we're just going to set that up real quick it's called horizontal scroll view and we're going to say android um, layout width equal to something like you could say full screen but basically I just made it 200 density pixels as you can see it kind of cuts off right there gives it a little custom shading as well that comes with the Android SDK so I'm just gonna set this equal to like 200 DP as well and then we're gonna say Android layout height is just gonna wrap the content and what else will we need? We need it to be centered. So we're just going to say Android layout gravity equals centered. And there we go. We have our scroll view set up. I'm just going to kind of delete that for now. And then also, if you guys remember, scroll views take in linear views as basically their parameters. So we're going to set up a linear view. or linear layout, I'm sorry, not a linear view. And so we're gonna give this uh, Android layout. Layout width is gonna equal to uh, fill parent. Android height is gonna wrap the content. And one other thing that we're going to need is the orientation, which is going to be horizontal. So we're just going to say and then we're just going to close this off as well. And now, now we just have to close off both of our linear layout and horizontal 
view, uh, scroll view down below all of your images. So, whoops, don't know what just happened there, but uh, generally should just close it off for you if you just hit the greater than and then a forward slash. So. There we go, I'm pretty sure we're done. I know I kinda went quick and we didn't really explain everything. Let me kinda save this and run it. Make sure it works here. And again, you guys have to set up the button yourself. Uh, make sure it goes through the Android manifest, starts a new intent, and you started your tutorial three with the set content view and the onCreate method and extending the activity class. I'm pretty sure you guys can do that by now. Um, if not, you can refer back to those previous tutorials or the source code at uh, mybringback.com. But yeah, it looks like we got basically what we want to set up here. And I know I didn't really explain everything, but hopefully you guys figured everything out because it's not too new. The image new image view is new. Uh, basically, the source gives it the picture. You guys know what the ID is. Uh, have the scroll views new, but it's kind of like the other the regular scroll view, except this one's gonna be horizontal scroll view. So that's kind of new, but besides that, we didn't really do anything completely new. Um, maybe the padding as well, but that's not too hard to figure out. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're actually going to get into Java and program this so it will actually work the way we want it to. But see you guys then. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. Uh, peace.